Hey everyone, Mario here with AutoDS. Now, before we begin today's video, I do need to give you a quick disclaimer. Today's video is going to show you everything that you need to know on how to get started with TikTok Shop. So I'm going to show you the basic store creation and how you can get started selling. But in this video, I'm not going to cover how you can benefit from automation. If you want to check that out, which I highly suggest you do, we have a very detailed video explaining absolutely everything that you need to know. So if you want to check that out, that's the how to start dropshipping on TikTok shop. And if you want access to it, just go ahead and comment down below requesting the link and I'll reply back with it so you can check it out. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Today, I'm going to present to you a marketplace for dropshipping that has yet to be oversaturated. That's so cool. You're so cool. Now, that doesn't mean it's not going to be oversaturated. I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be one of the most saturated places to be selling on later on down the road. But right now, if you can get into it right now, if you can start, if you can open up your account and start selling on there, start building a reputation, then trust me, you have the potential to make a lot of money. Well, then we better get started. This platform is filled with impulse buyers, all ready to take out their wallets and make a purchase immediately. So which platform am I talking about? Is it eBay? No. Is it Amazon? No. Is it Shopify? No. Is it Etsy? No. It's TikTok shop. We all know that one of the best places for organic marketing and paid marketing is definitely TikTok. Everyone's on TikTok, both young and old. People with interests in completely different things all gather on this video app and just mindlessly scroll through the app. And a lot of the times they come across a video, they see a product and they think that is really cool. They share the video, they like it, they comment on it, and that starts to build engagement. And in turn, more people start to see that video, more people start to see that product and more money starts coming in. Now, how can we start monetizing our videos without having to lead them to the link in our bio, which we unlock at a thousand followers and then have them go to our website where they're then going to make their purchase. Hopefully being able to sell directly on TikTok cuts out that entire part. And the best thing is, is that TikTok actually gives an organic boost to videos that actually have products linked to them. So if you make a video that's trying to sell a product, specifically a product that you have on your TikTok shop, TikTok is going to give it a nice organic boost. Now to get started dropshipping on the actual TikTok shop, what do you need? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to find good suppliers, but we're not talking about suppliers that are going to take two weeks to ship their products. We're not talking about suppliers that are going to take a week to ship their products. We need suppliers that are going to ship their products at the most within two to three business days. Also, we need suppliers that are located in the country that we're dropshipping in. In my case, it's going to be the US. So I need suppliers that ship from the US to the US. This is absolutely crucial. You need to have fast suppliers to be able to dropship on TikTok. Now to do this, it's super easy. You don't have to look far. The two top suppliers that I'm going to recommend are going to be Etsy as well as eBay. I know there's a lot of suppliers on AliExpress that actually do have fast shipping, but we're not going with AliExpress for this one because they don't give you the best tracking numbers. TikTok needs legitimate tracking numbers, whether that be from UPS, USPS, or FedEx, or I believe also DHL. But if you have an international tracking number, TikTok shop is not going to accept that. So because of that, we need local and fast suppliers that are going to give us legitimate tracking numbers. Now, dropshipping on TikTok shop isn't the same as dropshipping on, let's say, Shopify or your own website. You really don't need as much product research on TikTok shop as you would in some of these other platforms. Now, TikTok shop is kind of like eBay. It's more of a numbers game. So the more you can upload, the more products you can have on there, the higher chances are for getting a sale. And if you want to increase that even more, then start making videos around those products. One of the easiest ways to do this is by simply ordering a sample, ordering a product to yourself and start making a few videos. But if that's not your thing, if you don't want to make videos, then simply just go on TikTok, look for a similar product, if not the exact same product. And instead of downloading that video and reposting it, what you can do is simply stitch or duet it. So add some commentary on it. Talk a little bit about the product beforehand, maybe after the video, maybe just have a voiceover on the video itself. Just talking about the product, some of the features, things you like, things you don't like. And in that way, you are able to reuse people's videos. So you're not blatantly just stealing somebody's content. You're essentially making content with somebody else's content, but you're giving it your own twist. You're adding your own commentary. You're putting your thoughts on it. So when it comes to what we need to look for in our products, there's going to be two general rules. For one, look for items that are typically going to be between 20 to $30. If you can get it for less than that and sell it for more then even better Two, look for unbranded items. This is essential. Don't start selling copyright items on TikTok shop. Dropshipping on TikTok shop has 
the same general rules when it comes to the legality of it. So while you can drop ship pretty much anything that you need or anything that you want, you still can't drop ship prohibited items such as anything that's harmful, any firearms, any adult content, things along those lines. Also, you are not allowed to drop ship copyright materials. I know that these are the ones that are going to get you the most sales. They're the ones that are going to get you the most money. But at the same time, they're the ones that are going to run you the biggest risk of losing your shop. So my suggestion, don't do it. I had one of my Etsy shops shut down because of that. And that is everything that I needed to know. Don't drop ship, don't sell, don't do anything with copyright items or copyright work. Now, TikTok is full of people, whether that be young or old. TikTok has probably the biggest demographic of people ever. Now, because of that, you have the option to sell a little bit of anything on the platform. That's why I'm telling you that TikTok shop is more of a numbers game rather than a product research game. This platform is absolutely filled with impulse buyers, teens and adults alike. People see something they like, and if they can get to it immediately by simply clicking the little yellow button that says purchase on the TikTok shop, rather than going to your profile, clicking the link on your bio, going to your website, making the purchase through there, if they can have that whole process expedited by simply purchasing directly from the video, then you have the possibility of landing on gold mines with this. I found the city of gold. I found it. So right now I just went over to Etsy and I simply looked up a watch. Now I'm not looking for just any watch. I'm not just looking for the basic watch that everyone is going to buy. I need a watch that is going to stand out a little bit compared to all of the others. So a personalized watch is absolutely perfect for this. So I found this listing. It has a personalized face and it comes in a few different options. So you have black, silver, and gold. Now this runs $23.91. It is on sale. So this is perfect. But even when it's not on sale, it's running for $29.88, which is right at our price point. So now let's go ahead and start drop shipping this on the TikTok shop. So how do we do that? How can we get started? started with TikTok shop. So the first thing that you need to do is simply Google TikTok shop. Now you're going to look for this one right here. Sell more on TikTok shop. Click on that. I would give you the link itself directly right here, but it is way too long. So if you do want to just click on it, just go ahead and check out the description down below. Now, once you're in here, what you need to do is simply click on sign up now and you need to go through the motions. So first you're going to choose where you're going to be a seller right here. You can see that it automatically picked up that I'm going to be in the United States. Then you're going to sign up with either your email or your phone. The first time I did this, I signed up with my TikTok account and honestly, it just started giving me a ton of different problems. You can try it yourself if you have a TikTok account, see if it works for you. But the way I ended up going about it is simply by registering with my phone number. So once you go ahead and do that, you're going to have this little thing right here. Just confirm. Unable to verify. Of course it is. Two objects that are same shape, this one and this one. So then you're going to get a code. Go ahead and type that in there. Set your password. Go ahead and continue. So the next thing that you're going to do is let TikTok know what kind of business are you? Are you an individual? Are you a sole proprietorship? Are you a corporation or are you a partnership? Now, maybe 95% of people watching this are going to be individuals. You're going to sign up using your social security and you're just going to make some side income. The other 5% could possibly be a sole proprietorship. So something like an LLC, but then you also have corporations and partnerships. Now, these two are not as common as these two, but in my case, I'm just going with individual. So let's go ahead with that. Now, in this step, you need to upload your document. This part is absolutely crucial. You need to upload either your driver's license or your passport. They need to verify your identity. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, then unfortunately you can't sell on TikTok shop, but trust me, it's totally fine. I've done it. I know a lot of people that have done it. So just go ahead and upload your passport or upload your driver's license or your ID, whatever it is that you have. And quick tip, if you don't get approved the first time, try again. If you don't get approved the second time, try again. If you don't get approved the third time, keep trying. Just sometimes the pictures don't necessarily come out the best. So you might have to retake a picture of your ID or your passport, but just keep trying. You're going to end up getting approved eventually. Now, after your shop is approved, this is the screen that you're going to see. This is going to be your seller center dashboard or just your seller center. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need to start adding products. Now for this, what we're going to do is click on over to products over here. By default, it's going to be under manage products, but if it's not, just go ahead and click on that. Then once you're on here, the next thing you need to do is simply click on add new product. When you go to add a new product, there's one thing that you absolutely need to know that took me a while to find out. And that is that you need to choose the right category. If you don't choose the right category for your product, TikTok isn't going to approve your product. So in one of my other TikTok accounts, I was actually trying to sell a gift box, a homemade gift box for the holidays, and I couldn't find anything for gift boxes. So I tried a few different ones. It was a coffee gift box. So I tried anything under coffee. I tried a few different things under gifts and it wasn't being approved. Then I put in a t-shirt. I just put it as a regular t-shirt and it was approved 
within minutes. Now you're going to know that you have the wrong category because TikTok is going to tell you. So after you go ahead and fill all of this out, here we have our watch that we found. So after you save all of these different images, copy over the title, copy over the description, and of course, make it your own. After you do all of that and have all of this different stuff filled out, then you need to make sure that you choose the right category. Now, as far as the category, we're going to do watch. So it's not a smart watch. I guess we can consider it a men's watch or a women's or a couple's watch or even a stopwatch. Actually, you know what? Right here, unisex watches. So let's go ahead and put this under unisex watches. Now the brand. We obviously don't have a brand. So if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to eventually get this product not branded. Just go ahead and click on no brand. Exit that out and no brand right there. Now you can add all these different attributes. This can help. I barely ever do it. Then we have the media, which is the photos and the video that we upload. Scroll down a little bit more. You have the description. This is just the sample to show you guys. So disregard anything that's not typed correctly. Obviously, when you're actually filling this out, you need to make it relevant to TikTok. So you're not going to tell them, send us a message with your photo. You can tell them maybe send us an email with your photo. But a lot of the times when it comes to custom work, some people are not going to do it just because of the extra work that goes into it. But custom work comes with a lot of money. People are willing to pay a lot more for custom work than obviously your regular generic items. So if you're willing to offer custom work, you can make a couple of extra bucks. But aside from that that's not the point scroll down a little bit then you have a bit more information so you have the actual information on the sale or the product now the product identifier code i don't ever touch this to be honest with you i just leave it as is the retail price let's aim for two to two and a half times what the actual product cost so it was 30 let's go for 65 so 65 quantity let's let's do that we just have five of them for now package weight it's a watch so honestly i'm just gonna go with about a pound and then we have the dimensions of the product itself. So I'm assuming it's going to come in a box. So let's say maybe four by four by four inches. Now, obviously, if you want more specific information, you can just go ahead and reach out to the seller and they'll let you know what's up. Now you're going to have your shipping fee. So the shipping fee for this is going to be about seven dollars and nine cents. So all you have to do now is simply click on submit for review. Now, there's two different shipping options for TikTok shop. And this is one thing that is absolutely crucial that you need to know. TikTok shop will provide you with a shipping label. Now, that doesn't mean that they're going to pay for it. In 2023, they were paying for it. But from the looks of it in 2024, they're not going to do that anymore. So they're going to discount the shipping fee from your total profit. Now, what you can do to avoid this is simply just add the shipping fee to your product. But being able to receive a label is not going to help us in the least. We're drop shippers. We're not shipping anything ourselves. And we're certainly not going to be taking the time to forward that label to our suppliers. Our suppliers are going to take care of everything, including shipping the item. So in order to do this and in order to have our supplier ship the item or ship them ourselves with our own labels, this is what we need to do. So you need to simply just click on orders up here. And once you're under orders, go to shipping templates. Now under shipping templates, then you can create a new template, create a new template. Go ahead and click on OK. Template name. I'm just going to name this generic. Now it's asking you for a shipping warehouse. So here it's actually giving me the option for US pickup warehouse. I'm not sure if that's default for everyone, but if it's not, you can add an address on there. You can add your own address. If you have a PO box, you can add a PO box address on there. Then as far as the rate model, you can either go based off of weight or based off of quantity. So when it comes to drop shipping, quantity based would be the best option because we already know how much our suppliers are going to charge us for shipping. Then if you scroll down, you have the different options you can choose from. So depending on what your supplier offers, you can go ahead and offer the same thing. So I'm going with economy as well as standard. Now here is where you're going to put in your price. So we can either add five, maybe 15 for standard, and then this will be added or calculated at checkout. Now we all know that customers love free things and free shipping is no exclusion. So what we can do is simply offer free shipping here and just not offer standard shipping. So we will be including our shipping prices in our products. So instead of selling our products for $10, we'll sell it for 15 or 16 to include the shipping. Once that's done, you just have to go ahead and submit it and you're done. Your shipping profile is ready. Your products are going to have free shipping, but of course you're going to be including that in the total product cost for your customer. This step is absolutely crucial. You always want to make sure that you ship by seller. You don't want TikTok to give you the label because then you're not going to be able to do anything with it. And they're always going to be tracking that specific tracking number for the label. Now, when it comes to the TikTok shop, you're not going to have your funds released or available to you until a few days after the customer receives their order. That's why it's absolutely crucial that you have legitimate tracking numbers. TikTok shop follows that. Now, here's a couple of different tips that I want to give all of you to be able to start making some sales and just make the whole process a bit more efficient. So getting started with TikTok shop, if you don't make videos is going to be really hard. But if you don't want to make videos, there's still a few different ways that you can do this. One, you can reach out to different creators and offer them a discount. Never, ever, ever offer free samples. I've done that so many times and people just take them and they never make the video for you. They'll block you. 
people just want free stuff. So never offer free samples, always offer it at a discount. If you can do this, if you have the wiggle room and the profit margins to be able to offer certain discounts or creators, then you can start an affiliate program directly on TikTok shop. Now, TikTok makes this so much easier than let's say going out on your own with your Shopify store and starting recruiting affiliates. TikTok keeps track of everything. It keeps track of who your affiliates are. It keeps track of payments. It keeps track of absolutely everything. Now to do this, all you have to do is go ahead and click on affiliate over here and you can get started through here. So you see that you can connect directly with sellers. You can make TikTok videos or live streams featuring your products and you can buy directly from creator videos or live streams. So customers can purchase from different creators. They can purchase through your shop from a different creator. If that happens, the creator gets a commission and you get your sale. Another way that you can start increasing your sales, this is probably one of the best options to do is by going live. Live streams on TikTok are pushed immensely. TikTok really 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 wants to push tiktok shop so if you're doing a live stream with your products then tiktok shop is going to push that out to a lot of people now with a live stream you are going to have to have physical products unfortunately there's no way that you can go on live without an actual product and either showcase it or talk about it so if you do plan on going live you can order maybe one or two different samples maybe three and you can talk about them show them off and use them look tiktok shop right now is undersaturated i know there's a lot of people that are already on their drop shipping but compared to some of these other platforms like etsy or ebay it is an untapped gold mine. People are just starting to get the hang of TikTok shop. And once everyone knows about it, and once everyone knows how to use it, then forget about it. It's going to be super saturated. It's going to have probably even more people than eBay. But if you can get in early, get in right now, get in within the next few months, because saturation takes a year, a couple years. If you can get in now, if you can get in within the next few months, if you can get in this year, then you have a huge possibility for success. But you need to get started early. You need to start right now and you need to start adding as many products as you can. Now, it's also important to know that you can actually connect your Shopify store to your TikTok shop. Now, this is something new that was just recently implemented, but check this out. This is how you would go about it. So once you're logged into your Shopify store, you're simply going to go to the search bar, click on apps and look up TikTok. Go ahead and enter and you're going to look for the TikTok app. Now, this is a free app to install and pretty much what it does, it's going to allow you to synchronize your Shopify store, your Shopify products with your TikTok shop. So whenever you get an order on your TikTok shop, that's going to be rerouted to your Shopify store, which from there, can then be automated using AutoDS. So that way you can continue your automated dropshipping store and focus on making more content and doing more product research and adding more products to your TikTok shop. And that is everything that you need to know on how to get started dropshipping on the TikTok shop. Did you enjoy this video? I really hope you did. This is a little bit different than some of the other ones, but if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you also hit that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future dropshipping videos. If you want the link to the TikTok shop, all you have to do is just go ahead and check out the description down below. It's all going to be there for you. Huge thank you to everyone for watching again, especially if you made it all the way to the end. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch y'all next time.